everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this adorable pickle amigurumi. This is so cute. We're making cluster stitches to make it nice and bumpy and just super silly. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. I'm using Red Heart Soft and this particular color is called guacamole. <laughs> so it's a very bright uh, green color, um, but you can use any green color to uh, make this any worsted weight size 4 medium yarn for to make this cute little amigurumi. I'm using googly eyes but you can also embroider some eyes <laughs> to make it look silly and have a face if you want to or you don't even have to add eyes at all. It's just a silly looking pickle. <laughs> also, I, okay, <laughs> I am going to be using a G size hook which is 4.25 millimeters. And this super fancy hook I've been using in all of my video tutorials is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. If you go to Etsy and search Would Be Fancy, the shop will pop up. A lot of you have been asking about these hooks and they're hand carved ergonomic wooden handled hooks. The hook is fixed inside of there uh, permanently and it's perfect for any crocheter who crochets for a very long time. Uh, it's really nice and easy on the hands. So I recommend these to everybody in all of my tutorials. Uh, also, there is a scissor and a yarn needle here to cut yarn and sew in some ends on this piece. And you're also going to need a little bit of polyfill because this uh, pickle is stuffed with just a little bit of uh, stuffing here. So, or you can use other yarn as well as stuffing, but I'm using um, polyfill. Now before we begin, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video. There's a link to my blog where you'll get the free written pattern for this little pickle. And also um, there's a link to get all of these supplies uh, in the description of this video. You can get all supplies here uh, in this video tutorial. And there's a link to my Facebook and there's a link to my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on social media so I can see your crochet projects. And if you make this, make sure to share your photos on Facebook and Instagram and if you share a photo on Instagram make sure you hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your work all right that's all I have to say right now big thank you to red heart yarns big thank you to my dad back there for filming and editing this tutorial let's get started and make this cute little pickle amigurumi all right let's start off by making a slip knot so let's put our short end over our long end then fold this down and then pull that long end through and pull tight and there's your slip knot insert your hook and we can begin let's start out by chaining two so yarn over and pull through one yarn over and pull through two and in that second chain from the hook we are going to put six single crochets so the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything so count one and two right in this chain right here we're going to go into that chain yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay that is a single crochet so again that was one go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two there's two here's three and four, five, and six. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be working in continuous rounds and in the back loops only. So what I grabbed is a little extra piece of yarn to mark my rounds. If you have a legit stitch marker, you can stick that in right here to mark your rounds. Otherwise, just stick a piece of yarn in there so you can know where your beginning of your rounds are. Also, what we're going to do is work in those back loops only. In a lot of my amigurumi tutorials, I work in the back loops. Usually we're working through both loops here. There's both loops, there's both loops, there's both loops. But this loop that's furthest away from us right here, that's the back loop. Okay, this loop that's furthest away right here, back loop. This is the back loop, okay? So we're going to be working in those back loops only. You can work in uh, both loops if you want to, but I am going to be working in the back loops for this tutorial. So in the each stitch around for round two, we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch. So hop to this first stitch right here and go in and make two single crochets in there. So there's one, go back in for two. And we're gonna do that in each stitch around. So hop to this next one, back loop only, put two single crochets in there. And then hop to the next one back loop only, 
two single crochets just like that so we're going to be putting two single crochets in each stitch around at the end of round two you'll have 12 single crochets and it looks like i'm on my last stitch right here so you can just continue watching and we can go on to round three so if you need to count back make sure you have 12 stitches i'm moving my stitch marker up a row and for round three we are going to start making the bumps of this pickle so for round three it says to single crochet into the next let's see here two single crochets in this next stitch right here actually so right in this next stitch this first stitch of this round three we're going to put two single crochets in there one and two but now in this next stitch right here we are going to put something called a four double crochet cluster so what that is we're going to yarn over go into this back loop of this stitch this very next stitch here then yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook we're going to leave those other two loops on the hook and we're going to do that little sequence there two more times right two more times no three more times sorry guys three times where it looks like there's four stitches in there so yarn over go into that same stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops so now we have three loops on the hook hold those on the hook we're going to do that again yarn over go back into that same stitch yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops so now we have four loops on the hook we have to do it one more time yarn over go back in to that same stitch yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay now we have five loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all five of those loops and there is our four double crochet cluster now it's not going to be popping out yet because we are going to be single crocheting into the next stitch and what we're going to do is put two single crochets in this very next stitch down here so go down into this next stitch you might have to scoot these over to be able to see it and here's the back loop right there yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and you can kind of see that my finger this finger back here is kind of pushing on the back of this cluster stitch so that it kind of pokes outward like that and you can see it almost looks like a popcorn stitch my favorite stitch <laughs> so there's one single crochet in there I have to put another single crochet in that stitch after that cluster there we go so there's two single crochets in the very next stitch okay and don't worry about that looking like a hole right there it's going to um, flatten out in a minute here so there is a cluster right there now in this next stitch we are just going to put one single crochet okay in the stitch after that we are going to put two single crochets one and two and in the stitch after that we are going to put one single crochet now in this next stitch we are going to put two single crochets one and two and in this next stitch right here is across the way from this little cluster we're going to make a cluster in this stitch here so I'll show you again how I did that yarn over go into that next stitch right here yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops and do that four times yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and one more time here yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops so you should have five loops on your hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops just like that and there is our cluster stitch we still have a few more stitches left to go here we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and you see I did not really push on that cluster stitch with my finger this time and you can see it kind of poke to the back so what you can do is just take your finger in the back there and push it forward and there it has the dimension 
<laughs> excuse me <laughs> we're gonna go on to the next step now single crochet into the stitch after that so we put two single crochets in there we're gonna put one single crochet in there in that next stitch then we're gonna put two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch and that's the end of the round. You can see our stitch marker is right here, and there it is. So you should have 18 stitches on round three. Now we are going to go up to round four. Let's move our stitch marker up. And round four is a super simple round. We are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So no increasing or adding new stitches. We're just putting one single crochet into each of the 18 stitches. And when you get to this cluster stitch, you can see the stitch right there. And you can tell I'm working in the back loops only. So we're just working in each of the back loops of every stitch. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up for round five. All right, that was just a simple single crochet row. So let's go on to round five now. We are going to make some more of these cluster stitches, but they're at random. So um, we're going to make them offset from these ones so they don't always line up and look kind of weird or lined up because there's random bumps on pickles. <laughs> so we're going to go and single crochet into six stitches. So this first six stitches here, just put a regular single crochet. One, two, three, four, five and six and now in this next stitch is where we're going to put a cluster the four double crochet cluster stitch so remember yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and do that four times so that was one here's two here's three and four and now we have five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. And now we're going to put one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So go into this very next stitch down here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you can push that cluster forward to make it more bumpy. So there's one, next stitch two, three, four, Here's five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're gonna make a cluster stitch in this next stitch here. So remember how to do the cluster stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. And then you should only have two stitches left before we hit the stitch marker, and there they are. We're just gonna put one single crochet in those last two stitches. So one and one. And just, if your cluster looks like this uh, and is pushed to the back, just push it forward. Just like that. Awesome. All right, now for the next two rounds, round six and seven, we're gonna move our stitch marker up and we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds. So I'm just going to put one single crochet, no clusters in these next two rounds, just single crochet in each stitch around for round six and seven. I'll do that and then I'll meet you up and we'll make more cluster stitches in round eight. All right, I just did rounds six and seven, just putting one regular single crochet in each stitch around. So now we can make more cluster stitches in round eight. Let's move our stitch marker up. And for round eight, it says to single crochet in the next stitch. So this first stitch right here gets one single crochet. And then we're going to cluster stitch in the next stitch right away. So you know how to cluster stitch by now. So there's one, two, three and four and then yarn over and pull through all five of those loops just like that now we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches so hop down in the stitch right here and remember i'm just working in those back loops only so there's one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in the stitch after that, we are going to put a cluster stitch. So there's one yarn over, here's two yarn over, here's three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then you should have five stitches left on this row before we hit our stitch marker. So let's just single crochet in those rest in the rest of those stitches there. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And there's our stitch marker. So we can go on to round nine. Rounds nine, 10, and 11. The next three rounds, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So again, just basically what, what we did for round six and seven, except this time it's three rounds just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. When I finish round 11, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 12 together. All right, I just did rounds 9, 10, and 11 here. Just did one single crochet in each stitch around. So now I'm going to move my stitch marker up and we can go on to round 12. Now we are going to start to make a curve in this pickle. And by making a, um, to create the curve, we are going to be slip stitching. So we're going to slip stitch into the first nine stitches. Now your slip stitches need to be loose, uh, not too tight. So go into this next stitch here and then yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook, but do not pull tight. If you were to pull tight, your stitch would look like this and then we wouldn't be able to work in it in the next, you know, the next row. So you do not want it to be tight. We are going to go into that stitch and then yarn over, pull through. Whoops, let's get in there first. There we go. Yarn over, pull through and pull through. And make sure that there's enough room for your hook to fit in there in the next row. And if you want to, you can even move this over here and then go into there to make sure that you can fit your hook in there. And then you know that that's enough tension to put on that stitch. So there's one hop to the next stitch, yarn over and pull through and through, there's two, next three, oopsie, don't lose your loops, <laughs> there's four, here's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we did nine slip stitches and you can see the difference in the spacing as well here. How it's so much closer to that previous row there and you can see our single crochet rows are taller but these are very short and so the curve is going to happen on this side and you'll see that in the next uh, few rounds. Now we are going to single crochet into six stitches. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're back to single crochets. So there's one, next stitch is two, here's three, here's four, five, and six. There should be three stitches left here. In this next stitch, we are going to cluster. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and do that four times. So there was one, here's two, three, and four, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops. So now we have two stitches left on this row. We're just going to single crochet in that next stitch, push this forward here, and then single crochet in that last stitch. Awesome. Now we are going to go on to round 13. I'm going to move my stitch marker up. And for round 13, we're not doing any cluster stitches, but what we're going to do is slip stitch into the first nine stitches, very similar to what we did in the previous row. So go into this very next stitch right here in the back loop, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay, again, loose on those slip stitches. So that was one. Next stitch is two, next stitch is three, here's four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now what we're going to do is single crochet in the rest of the stitches on this round. And there should be nine stitches left. So single crochet, there's one, two, three, four, here's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we've hit our stitch marker right there and that was round 13. So for rounds 14 and 15, the next two rounds, just repeat what we did for round 13. Just slip stitch into these first nine stitches and then uh, single crochet into the last nine stitches. And you'll start to see the curve kind of being created. So there was a single crochet. <laughs> I was thinking slip stitches. So go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Those are slip stitches. So slip stitch into the first nine stitches and then single crochet into the last nine stitches. And that's for rounds 14 and 15. So when I finish round 15, I'll meet you up because round 16, uh, we are going to go back to single crocheting all the way around and we're going to make more clusters. All right, when you are finished with uh, round 15, you can see that the curve is starting to be created there. So this is the underside of the pickle, and this curve is going to come over the top like this, okay? So now going on to round 16, we're gonna move our stitch marker up. Let's stretch this out here. There we go. Okay, so for round 16, it says to single crochet into seven stitches. So in this next stitch here, I know these are slip stitches, but we're going to actually single crochet into them. So there's one single crochet here, two, three, four, five, whoopsie, <laughs> here's six and seven. And now in this next one right here, we are going to cluster stitch. And you know how to do clusters already. We've been doing them quite a bit already here. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over, pull through all five loops. And now we are going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. So right in this very next stitch here, don't lose that one. <laughs> you can get easily lost underneath these clusters here. So there's one. Remember, single crochets. Here's two back loops only. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and there should be this stitch right here. Let's see here, what are we gonna do with this stitch? We're gonna cluster stitch in the last stitch. And you can see our, our uh, stitch marker is right there. So we're gonna cluster stitch into the last stitch of this round. One, two, three, and four. Then yarn over and pull through all five loops. Perfect. Now let's move our stitch marker up and just go right on to round 17. We're going to single crochet into 11 stitches. So move that stitch marker up, but don't lose that stitch right next to that cluster. There's one. Next stitch is two. I'm going to push my cluster forward here. There we go. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Awesome. Now let's cluster stitch into this next stitch right here. So you know how to cluster stitch. One, two, three, and four. And then yarn over and pull through all five loops just like that. And we should have six stitches left. So let's count them. We're going to single crochet in the rest of those. So one, two, three, four, 
five, and this cluster stitch is the last stitch on this row. Here's six. Perfect. Now let's move our stitch marker up, and for round 18, we are just going to single crochet into each stitch around. So no cluster stitches or anything, just single crochet into each stitch, and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 19. All right, that was just a simple single crochet round, uh, very similar to round four. Um, we're gonna move our stitch marker up and we are going to start decreasing now. So if you need to though, you can stuff this uh, at this point, which maybe I should just do that first before we decrease uh, because the hole could get a little bit uh, smaller and harder for you to stuff any stuffing inside of this pickle. So I'm just grabbing some polyfill, but like I said earlier in this tutorial, you can add um, just like scrap yarns or something to stuff inside, or if you use something else for stuffing, um, whatever, you can stuff this with. So I'm just going to stuff it a little bit. And you can see that curve is really nice too in there. That looks really good. Awesome. Look at all those <laughs> little bumps around it. It looks funny. Okay. So now... We are going to decrease. There's just two more rounds left here, so bear with me. We're going to single crochet two together. So I'm going to move my stitch marker up here. There we go. All right, so let's single crochet two together. So we're going to go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, go directly into the next stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is a single crochet decrease or a single crochet two together stitch. So we're gonna do that, and then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch, just a regular single crochet, just like that. So we're gonna repeat that two stitch sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together, so go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. Okay, again, single crochet two together, and single crochet into the next stitch. The sequence happened six times, so that was our third repeat there. So single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch. There's our fourth repeat there, whoopsie. There we go. And single crochet two together, single crochet in the next stitch. At the end of round 19, you will have 12 stitches on this round, okay? Here's my last repeat. You can see my stitch marker right there. So single crochet two together and single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so I have my 12 stitches now. It's getting pretty tight at the top here. Let's move our stitch marker up one. And our last round, we're gonna do those single crochet two together stitches. And we're doing those all the way around. So single crochet this first stitch and this next stitch together. And then hop to the next two stitches and single crochet those two together. So single crochet two together, single crochet the next two stitches together, single crochet the next two stitches together, and these next two. It's going to get really tight at the top here, and if you need to add stuffing any more, you can, um, but there's really no more room on mine here to stuff it. So single crochet these last two stitches together there. So now you have the option if you want to fasten off here and then sew this top circle or this top opening closed, or you can single crochet the first and fourth stitches together. So this next stitch right here, okay? Then skip these two stitches, see? So go into the stitch here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me get in there, there we go. And then you can skip these next two stitches right there and right there and go across the way. If you just go straight across, there's this stitch right here. Okay, let me get my yarn out of the way there. So we have the first and fourth stitches together, yarn over, pull through both of those layers, and then yarn over and pull through two loops to single crochet those two together. And then to fasten this off, we're just going to chain one and cut our yarn 
and pull that through and pull tight. And then what we're going to do here is grab our, hang on just a second here. Let me grab my needle here. You can remove your stitch marker and I don't know why my glue is being really weird. We're going to glue on some googly eyes. So I grabbed those off camera here. I'm removing my stitch marker. Okay. You can kind of shape your thing here. I'm sticking my um, hook in here and at the very top just shoving it in grabbing that little straggler and we got to sew that in just pulling that through just like that and that's hidden okay you can see the curve of the pickle right there <laughs> this is so cute now you can decide where you want the googly eyes to be I think I'm gonna have mine Oh, I don't know, right about here, I think. So grab your googly eyes, or if you wanted to, you can embroider your eyes. That's fine, too. And I have some tacky glue here. So I'm just going to set this in here. And I'm just going to put an eye there. And an eye right next to it here. And then I'll let that dry. And there you have a cute little pickle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this silly little project. You know, during the holidays too, I mean, um, this is uh, kind of funny to put in your Christmas tree. But also, it's a really punny project too. And if you can, you can give it to your Valentine. So it's really, or any pickle lover would love this uh, little pickle. So thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this little piece today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you made it, make sure to share it on the Facebook or on Instagram and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your pickles. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching until next time. Happy hooking.